surrounded by baby hair. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions like what do you use for this or how do you like this product. There's more products that I'd like to talk about but for today I'm going to focus on like pretty much the stuff that you can see. I do have like some front carriers and other things we can talk about later if you guys want to hear it. So tell me in the comments. But basically today I'm going to show you how a lot of the different things that I have work. I'm going to tell you what I like about them and hopefully it will help you make decisions because it took me a long time to pick out a lot of the stuff that I use for clothing. The car seat that I use for Chloe every single day is the Kiko Keep It 35. She's sleeping in it right now. And her main stroller that I'm currently using is this Upper Baby Vista right here. I had this same stroller for Owen. I liked it a lot. And the main thing I actually liked about it was the basket underneath is really big and the handle is really tall. The handle can go up and down. I keep it obviously at the highest height because I'm tall. And then I did tell you guys recently about my Ryan and Rose stuff, and this is one of my cup holders. And I have to say, this is better than the thing that comes with the shoulder. Well, this doesn't come with it, I should say. You have to buy everything separate for the Vista, but this is the new Vista mommy compartment, and it's just like so-so. I don't really like how it hangs on. It's just not my favorite accessory. I kind of find it a little bit inconvenient to use. I like this better. I'm gonna probably end up with three of these here just because of that. But anyway, moving on. So this, you can put the canopy up and down and then you just push this button here and you can take off your baby basket. A cool feature about this that I did not use with Owen but I have used with Chloe is that this, you can actually put it on a separate stand and make it your actual little child's bassinet that they sleep in. We've been using it for Chloe when we've been doing David's road trips for soccer. So she just sleeps right in here in hotels. We'll just remove this little part so it's open. And oh look, there's some stuff in there from last time she wrote in here. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just keep it open like this. We'll usually put this part down and then she'll sleep just like this. Sorry, this is like a disaster right now. I'm, I'm a mess. But anyway, like this. And then we can watch her. She'll be right here on the stroller. We put the brake on and that's her towel bed for now. So she gets a little bit bigger. The other thing about this stroller I want to show you guys was, you have to buy this of course separately, but everything is separate. That lets us also use the stroller with her car seat. There we go, so you just stick it in, it'll click, and that's how it goes. The good thing about this is I feel like the previous version of this didn't have a little thing that said front, but now it says front, so you can tell which way is the front versus the back of the adapter because it was tricky on the previous models. Okay, moving on, let's just talk strollers while we're on strollers. So this is the Uppa Baby, which I've said I definitely like. It is my main go-to. But when I'm taking Owen and Chloe Bowl somewhere where Owen might want to ride, like Disneyland, um, I'll use something like one of these two. This is the Bob, the Double Bob. This is probably my second favorite stroller. I, I like this design also. This is this really cool um, reflective pattern on this. When I saw it online, I actually thought it was white and black. And then I got it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's actually gray. And it like reflects the white. I thought it was really cool. They also have it on the sides and reflective stuff. So if you were gonna jog, this would be a great shoulder for that. One of my favorite things is of course, because I'm tall, this handlebar that is so adjustable. And the weight capacity of the shoulder, I love. It has a pretty high seat height. So your kids can ride it for a pretty long while as well as lots of space out here in front for the feet. Okay, now in comparison, you guys might remember when we had the twins as babies, we got a Valco stroller, um, this same exact brand. Now this is a different model of the twin Valco. And I like this stroller. This is a nice stroller in and of itself, like a standalone nice stroller. It's got a really nice like plush, kind of like fake leather handle. I really like the handle. It has a pretty tall seat height as well and it lays back nicely. As you can see, I think I took Owen and Chloe to the mall on this, and Chloe laid down and Owen was able to sit up. The things that I don't like as much about this compared to this one, um, the other Valco has a similar part here, like this. And this, for me, makes it so that if you have a tall kid, their feet are gonna hit those wheels if they kind of lean out a little bit, as opposed to here, there's no way they can touch a wheel because their feet are gonna go here, and there's just a lot of space for a tall kid. And, my kids are all tall, so that matters a lot to me. So that's the only con for me on this one. Um, one thing I do like though is you can do this. You can pull this really far up, the little footrest here, 
and there's some buttons over there, and then you can put it down. You can even pick it up and put it a little bit up or a little more. I do that when Chloe's in there, just so that it makes it like really unlikely she can move or anything like that, just because she's still small. Both of these strollers have a place to store your stuff in the back, like a little pouch. That one has that one. This one has one also. It's a little bit smaller, this one. But then again, like a deep pouch, I feel like it would just get really heavy anyway. So this small one's perfect for like a phone or whatever. Then um, the brake. So this one has a really easy to use brake. I think Falco, they make the claim that you can use your sandals on this stroller. So I think that's one of their things that they like to talk about. The under basket is big on this one too. You can tell it's pretty roomy under there. So that's a good thing about the Valco. Um, with this one, I feel like the brake is just as easy to use with bare feet or not. And then to collapse the stroller, you pinch here, you put it forward, and then you pick it up like this. So it is big. I mean, it's not too big, but it's definitely, it's big. And this stroller also has um, storage on the back of the seat that you can use. It's divided into two compartments. I think this one just has one the single bob. So that's nice too. This stroller does not have the extra storage below like this one has. Oh, but something else about the Valco that I do like a lot is the canopy. So the canopy, this one I have done already, it extends and then it extends again. So let me show you the front. You can get a really nice cover as far as the canopy goes on this one. The little peekaboo hole isn't so great though. It's pretty small and you really can't see your baby and their heads straight down. So the peekaboo hole for me is like, okay, we'll compare the same thing on this stroller. So this is the size of the canopy. So almost as good. I think this one's a little further. This one's almost as good, but this one, the peekaboo spot, I think is a lot better. Something else kind of interesting is you can actually swap out the tires on this stroller for air-filled tires. And the air-filled tires are a little bit bigger than the tires that come with this stroller. And that's what we did because I wanted this one to be a little more like this one because I know how much I like this stroller and how I liked my old Valco. My old Valco was called the Twin Tri-Mode and this one is called the Trend Duo. So you can look up the other model. You can see it on the channel if you'd like to. Both controllers, like I said, but I think I like the tri-mode a little better still. Also because of the versatility on the tri-mode, you can put the Joey seat up front, make it a triple stroller, and then you can put the ride on board in the back, make it a quadruple stroller, which is how we used it. Because Alyssa was three, exactly, like three months, three years, three months, when we had the twins and David behind her already. So she was still very much toddler, you know, probably baby face still when she had three little brothers. So we needed that big stroller. Something I love about this one though, and even the Uppa Baby, the Uppa Baby has really big wheels. I used to think that the small wheels looked a little bit smaller and nicer on strollers, but I realized that the bigger wheels are better, especially if you're going to be taking your kids somewhere like a soccer game or pushing over any kind of rough terrain. Little wheels get stuck in things so easily, but these big wheels, like on this bob here, they just push right over it, so I can take them anywhere. So as long as your tires are full of air, it'll push along anything. I mean, you can take this to soccer and it's just a breeze. The downside again though is the size. This stroller is pretty big folded. Now just to compare the two, so you guys can see them folded and see the size comparison folded. Matt never wants to bring this stroller on a road trip because I mean these wheels, they're huge. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not as easy to pack that in a car, especially if you have a lot of kids, as it is this one. So this one, how you fold it is you pinch the little thing on the back, there's like a little button, and then you squeeze at the same time. And then this is this one. This one has two handles, which actually makes it a little easier to pick up than the bob with one handle, but this one's also a little bit lighter. Now, as far as single strollers, the one good thing about the Uppa Baby is you don't have to fill the tires with air. And I know Matt doesn't like filling tires with air. It can become a hassle, so there's that. Now, this is my single bob. It has a lot of the same features as the other bob. It's got a nice big open peekaboo spot here. No plastic on it, just the mesh and then it magnets down. I got this parent cup holder thing to go along with it that I really like. It fits nicely. It doesn't act as weird as the upper baby one does. Um, I have these stroller straps that I got from B that I hang my diaper bag on. I like them because they have a little diamond, although one of the diamonds fell out. I guess it wasn't that good of a 
quality product after all. Anyway, this one, how does this one work? How do we, oh, this one has a weird fold. This one is, I think, a 2020 bob, and it has this new feature about it that the old ones didn't have. So you reach in here, and this doesn't really allow access to underneath to put your junk. I think this is literally only opening up so that you can fold a stroller. And you have to push this in and kind of twist it and pull it up. So when you do it, it's nice. It's just kind of a weird spot for the closing mechanism. So you kind of have to look for it a little bit. But then there's this one. This is practically as big as the double and this other double, just a little bit less wide. So it's also a really big stroller. Okay, we're gonna move on to the single strollers. This stroller you probably see me use. I got this for Owen a few years ago. I just loved it, mainly because of the color, but also because it's one of the only ones I could find that has uh, extendable handles. Most umbrella strollers don't have this feature, and if you're tall, usually you'll walk along kicking your stroller. So I like that about this stroller. Um, it also has a really big, nice canopy, and something that we've never used that it has is you can open this right here, and you can stick an iPad in there so your kid can watch an iPad oh, wow. through a clear screen from the comfort of their stroller. Again, something that we have not used for, but it does have. And I think this also has the same feature as one of the other ones, um, the Valco, where you can put this part up and down a little bit as well. So this stroller is a nice one. I like it. Um, it lays down real nice and flat. It's one of the flatter strollers. It's a compact umbrella stroller and it's easy to fold, lightweight, of course, all umbrellas are. Um, but yeah, I like that stroller, it's a good one. The next one that I got is this Jules Air, and I have it right now in the bag that it's stored in, which is a nice feature about it, that it can be stored in a bag. This one's really lightweight, and as you can see, it's, it's really compact. I think this one is rated to fit in the overhead compartment of um, airplanes and it opens nice and easy. I would say the con of this stroller is it definitely wouldn't really be the right stroller for Chloe yet. She would have to be able to sit up a little bit more before she can use it. And then of course the canopy size here. Oh, let me see, does it get bigger? I don't think the canopy gets bigger unless I'm in. Oh wait, hold on, I could be wrong. It does, okay, well, a little bit. <laughs> it gets a little bit bigger. So it has this little part here. Kind of nice though, because if you expand it like that, you can see your kid right through here, which is nice. So, canopy size is okay for me on that one. I mean, you can compare it to here. And if this seats this up all the way, I guess this make a difference, but you can see that, I think the canopy is a little better on this one. Maybe a little bigger and wider, although they almost go down to the same height, right there. The one thing I do think about this one is nice, is the seat is really wide and pretty tall. So it seems like this would be good for a kid who's a little taller and a little bigger maybe. And I'm gonna show you guys how this one folds. So again, you push the little button in, stick it down, and it folds in. And it even has a carry handle that's kind of like elastic. And you can just stick it over your shoulder and carry it if you don't have your bag with you. So this is definitely a nice stroller. And I am tall, as you guys know. And I think this stroller works for me. Like I don't find myself necessarily kicking it. So it's got a pretty comparable handle height. Next I have this Uppa Baby. This is the Minnow. Uppa Baby is a brand I like, as you guys know. So this one has a cute little carry bag. It also comes with a waterproof cover. That's something I've never actually used on a stroller, but I guess it doesn't really rain here that much, so we don't really need to use that feature. But if it did rain, maybe we would use it. Okay, so this one is also pretty easy to use. It has a little release right here. So you just release that, and then the stroller goes out. There we go, there we go. Um, okay, this one has a really nice big canopy. I would say no more than this one, but it is nice. It has another nice mesh opening on the top like the other strollers do. And the wheels in the back are a little further apart in comparison to the jewels. I think that's why the jewels is probably just a little bit more compact is because the wheels are narrower. But I also think that the Eppa Baby is slightly more sturdy in a way. Like it kind of has a slightly more sturdy feel as far as 
left to right movement. So that's what I do like about this one. This one lays back pretty well. There's a little pinching mechanism. This lays back really far, actually. Let's see how that compares to this one. Okay, so for this one, to lay it back, it unzips in the back. There's a little pocket here. I hear you, Chloe. Aww. And it unzips. <laughs> and when you unzip it, then it'll lay back. So, it doesn't go back quite as far as you can see as the other ones, but it does, it does go back. And that unzippable feature is pretty cool. This one also comes in some really pretty colors. This um, Jules comes in this really pretty bluish teal color that I thought was gorgeous. And it was out of stock, otherwise I would've got that action instead of the pink, because it was really a nice color. I'm in my room for the next section because I wanted to show you Chloe's changing table. So this is her current changing table. She has this mat that I'm sure everyone has seen. It's like the most common one. This is one of the options I'm gonna talk about today. This is fine, it's regular, um, typical. You can put the cute covers on it. And then before I leave, I'll show you her diaper pail. We've had this one since Owen. I like it because you step on the handle and then you can push the diaper. If you throw a diaper in this, kind of toss it, it'll open on its own. But there's also a lock feature. If your kid's one that likes to put things in the trash, they can't put things in without you knowing it. You use your own bags for this. And then you just take out the bag, the front opens and you take out your own bag. So it's been a good diaper pail for us. We like it a lot. In this room, I have two additional changing pads set out so you guys can take a look at them. This one right here is a skip hop one. Now, this one I think is super cute because it has this little mobile that comes with it. And it's kind of like a heavy rubber. Um, it's a really dense feeling rubber, but you can wipe it clean. What? What? I know. But I like the mobile. I think that's really cute. The mobile is also detachable, so you don't always have to have it on there. Had to get Miss Chloe some food. She is a little hungry. But our next changing pad option, this is probably my favorite of these two, is this one called the Kikaroo. I like this one. This kind of feels like that feels like dense rubber. This feels more like memory foam. And they're both wipe clean. This one has a bit of a higher head and then it kind of slopes down woo, um, to the bottom. And I think this would be a really cool option, especially if you were somewhere like a daycare where you just need to be able to quickly change and wipe clean. Here's my other thoughts about these two compared to the traditional kind like I showed you in my bedroom. I think that at least for younger babies, they might appreciate having the warmth of the changing pad on there as opposed to laying on the plastic because they just get cold and temperature can really bother little babies. So I like these, but I feel like I wouldn't want to cover this because it's so cute, but then I want to cover on it just to keep her comfortable as a newborn. So as time goes on, I think this is cool. I think this is a really sleek and modern designed changing pad that would look nice especially going into the toddler years, you can stick it on the top of the dresser, and it looks nice. So I like it a lot, I like them both. I've had to pick a favorite, it would be this one out of the two of them. I've actually been using this Kikaroo underneath the Fisher Price toy right there because Chloe doesn't have her um, little baby gate up yet, and since we have our new dog, I don't want to have her stuff just sitting out since, as you guys know, he's a little bit of a chewer sometimes. So for now, I put that on this and I feel like this is a nice little, uh, you know, barrier since she can't roll over anyway. Oh boy, why are people always bothering me when I'm trying to talk to you guys? Anyway, <laughs> she'll sit on this with that over it and then I feel like she can be kind of safe and I'll put her up on a counter for now, but that won't last very long because in the next couple months she'll start to roll around a little bit and then she'll need to be in her play yard to be safe. Moving on. To Chloe's little Fisher Price gym. Oh, you don't like it. Oh. <laughs> She's like, no, I want you to hold me, but you know what? She just stood up on me. Okay, 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 okay. Chloe will not demonstrate her cute little toy, but I like this toy. I actually did a review of this toy when I had Michael. It's one of my earlier reviews of something, and I had a complaint about this product, and it was that this piano didn't come off from the rest of it so that you could continue playing with the piano later. And they actually changed the design of this toy. Now you can take the piano off, so I think that's cool. Chloe kinda likes it. She's still getting to like her playtime still. 
Well, anyway, it doesn't matter that I'm split up on since this is just my gym clothes anyway. But my next two things I'm gonna show you guys are these two little baby seats. Obviously, one of them is way more expensive than the other. Um, they're similar. I do like this one because it's really soft. And when I first saw this baby Bjorn, I thought the toy bar was way too close to the seat, but looking at how small Chloe is, you can tell it's actually just about right. This one, you just kind of pull these little clasps through a hole to buckle the baby in. And then this has, like I said, this cute little toy bar with little wooden toys, and she can kind of bounce like this in it. The thing I like about this is the cover comes all the way off, can be machine washed, and then I guess you can flip it over and it can be a rocking chair for an older kid. And then this one also can be a rocking chair for an older kid as well. So this one has a little bit of sit up versus lay down. And then there's this bar here that you can push in or out. And then when it's like this, it can rock. And then when the bar is out, it's stationary. So that's how I have it now because Chloe's just getting to the point where she can kind of sit in these little chairs at two months. Hello, hello, oh yes. Oh, don't touch my lips if you know that's gross. <laughs> Next, my Boppy pillow. I have two covers and believe it or not, I've only used one cover because I don't actually use this pillow as much as I thought I would. I use it a lot for my other babies, but I just hold her when I feed her. And also because as you guys know, she has to eat most of the time in a more upright position. We generally don't feed her like a normal baby. Um, that's probably also why I don't use this as much, but I do like this cover. It was a little hard to find cute covers, but I did find some. Moving on from these, we have like two more categories to talk about. Hopefully you guys are finding this interesting and not boring. Um, I guess if you're bored, you already clicked away. So anyway, I like talking about baby stuff. So, okay. This is the Fisher Price Play Dome. I also have this for Owen. I love this product. Okay, the pros are it's an awesome product. The cons are this is literally as small as it gets. So if you want to take this and you're taking your baby on a vacation, like this is not the most convenient thing to take with you by any means because I mean you have this, you have your stroller, you have your car seat, and your whole car is full of baby stuff. But anyway, this one lays down, you pull off the legs, and it's this cute little dome. Sounds like you're breaking it, but you're really just assembling it. Anyway, the baby can lay in here and there's these cute little toys and you can shut this all the way, just kind of stick it over the lip on the top and keeps the baby safe from bugs or whatever. So we brought Owen out and we use this in the pool yard so he can kind of hang out with us and not be in the house while we are swimming because babies this age, they don't really like to swim. You know, they're, that's not the kind of thing they're about. They like warm water. <laughs> So we use this a lot in the backyard, and I like this product. Now I have a similar product that I've not used before, and it's this one called the Neato. So it says it assembles in two seconds, so we'll see if this is true, but it's way more compact, it's very, very light. What I'm thinking is maybe it won't be as sturdy as that one, but it could be a little more versatile. Oh, look how cute. It comes with this little fox toy, a little owl and a star. Okay, so this one has a fluffy blanket for the bottom of it. Okay, oh wow, so it's pretty big. Whoa, it's really big. Well, I wouldn't call this two seconds, but yes, it, it does open in two seconds. And then you just put these little sticks, I guess, like this to give it some framing. Okay, so already what I think the pros of this one are is obviously it's gonna be way easier to take around with you and use and it's pretty big. I would say, oh, that's cute. The con of this is once your baby gets a little bit big, it could easily just maybe like pull the sides a little too much. So it's interesting, because this one's a lot smaller as far as the diameter, but this one's a lot more sturdy if your kid were to be sitting up, because I have Owen sit up sometimes in this one, and because the sides were nice and hard, he could never, you know, possibly fall or do something like that to it. So this one is versatile, but I think the sturdiness isn't as great. What do you think, Matt? Do you agree with that assessment? I just imagine it blowing away if you took your kid out of it, the wind would take it, and then you'd have to yeah. put some other weight inside of it to hold it down. Yeah, like it's okay for the beach. Like it's okay. It's not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's fine, but just different. 
I guess if space is an issue, then maybe this is the better one. But if you want something super sturdy because your kid's, you know, advanced and already climbing around by the time they're six months old, this is probably the better choice. So, so anyway, that's the two of those. And now we're on to Chloe's bed. Now, I've probably said this before, but the car seat and the bed are by far probably your most important purchases. The car seat because it keeps your baby safe. Car seat's your number one. I mean, I personally believe you should not go cheap on a car seat. Even if you're the poorest you've been in your entire life, the one thing you've got to be willing to put money into is your baby's car seat. I mean, if you get in an accident, that's what's saving your baby's life. And I noticed that the really cute car seats, the ones that have like Minnie Mouse and all the things that you're drawn to, those are actually the cheapest ones. And I don't think that even though they're, you know, supposedly safe and they're rated well, I just don't think they compare to the really, really good car seats out there. And yeah, they might cost, you know, two to $400, but I mean, that's nothing when you think about the safety of your baby. So for me, getting a really, really good car seat is a huge priority and it should be a really important decision that you make. Secondly would be where your baby sleeps. A lot of babies die from SIDS and it's a horrible thing. We have some friends who lost two babies from SIDS and it's really, really sad. And um, not only is it important to keep your baby safe while they're sleeping, but it's important that they sleep well so that you can sleep well. And as you guys know, we went through cradle after cradle, bassinet, you know, trying to find the perfect bed for Chloe to sleep in. This is the first bed that we opened and I was excited about it until I found out that there was no buttons on it. And if grandma wanted to watch the baby, she'd actually have to use the app to work the bed. And I was thinking, what is this? But even though I still don't like that about this bed, this is actually the bed that we like the most that we ended up using. And I'm really happy with it. I also tried out the Fisher Price Soothing Motions and I liked it until I found out the soothing motions were the motions that the mother makes with her hand. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not here to rock this bed all night. It had some little fabric things and you can move the bed, but it doesn't actually move on its own. And I wanted something that would move. The other one that I think is similar to this one, this is the Bliss, is the Four Moms one. that kind of moves up and down like this. And I think that's probably equal and similarly good. But I like this, it has really cool stuff like as far as like the light that goes around it and it moves just enough that it keeps her happy if she gets a little fussy. It comes with two sheets and um, they're really, really soft and stretchy. Underneath here we keep a book. It's a thin book, but Chloe needs to be just a little bit inclined. So she's inside there with her book under her head and then we put this cute little burp cloth under her and we tuck it into the sides just like they did in the NICU so if she spits up she's not wrecking her sheets as often and then just last night I added this adorable toy bar to it this is a tiny love brand um, little like I think like actually advertised as a stroller arch and I realized when I took it out of the package that it's so adjustable because of all these little hinges that you can change the angles of it and I can actually put it on her bed right here and clamp it on a lot of times these little arches that they come out with they'll have a fixed like width you know and it's really hard to make them more wide so when i realized this one you could just take it off and put it on like that i was like that is so cool so she has this little arch because she's just starting to look around at things and notice things so i thought she might like having this on her bed when she's falling asleep because what i'll do at night is i'll put her in this hat this is my current go-to every single night and then I wrap her really tight in this swaddle. I think these are actually both from Not Baby, um, the swaddle and the hat. And then over that, what I've been doing, because she can't move at all. If she's rolling around, I probably wouldn't do this, but this is the Audrey and Bear blanket. And I'll just take it and I'll put it kind of small, just because it's, it's kind of a heavy blanket because it's double-sided. I think she likes it. I'll just put it over her like this, just for like the extra weight on her and I'll tuck it into her bed, but this is after she's already swaddled, so there's no risk of it possibly covering her face or anything. It's just kind of like that extra like weight and warmth that she kind of likes. That's her bed. Like I said, one of our most important decisions. Oh, one of the other beds we also went through was um, the Graco. Yeah, I think I want to say it's called the Duo Glider, if I remember right, but it's one that kind of moves back and forth like this, but it was a little too inclined, and it seemed a little more like a swing than a bed. 
So we ended up returning that one also. There's been a lot of them. And then last thing I'll quickly go show you guys, you've probably seen it, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys, is um, her little fake swing that she loves. So this is her little swing. Again, I have a little burp cloth behind her. She's a little spit up right now because sometimes she'll spit up and I don't want to wreck this. The, the one bad feature actually about this swing, speaking of that, is this part lifts up, but it actually doesn't come all the way out. So if you want to clean this part, which is the most likely to get spit up on it, you actually have to take off the entire thing, which I find super annoying. I don't know why they didn't make this removable. Oh, okay, you don't want to be in there right now. Okay. But this is a cute swing. I think it's really cute. It has a um, little mobile. Um, something I also have to say is, something I question is, the mobile looks really cute from the top, but if you look underside from the baby's side, it's pure white. And I feel like either mine was assembled upside down or they didn't think about that, I don't know. But this seems like it should be the side the baby sees, because I mean, pure white's kind of boring. Anyway, there's a little mirror under here, and then you can flip this so it can rock two directions. It can go this way, or it can go the other way. There's music, there's some little sounds. It came with this little toy. And she likes it a lot. I like how it plugs into the wall so it doesn't use batteries. But if you want to waste tons of money, there is a battery compartment so you can put batteries in it. And overall, this is one of my favorites. I like it a lot. This video is not sponsored. However, I do want to thank Pish Posh Baby. They sent me some of the products that I use in this video. But as you guys know, I definitely bought some of these myself. Some of these, such as this, were a gift that I got from my baby shower. I got this on Amazon. The cool thing about Pish Posh Baby is that you can get um, like a credit towards future purchases in their reward system. So definitely check that out. I'll have all this information about where to get most of these things in my description box. So check that out for more information. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you found it informative and interesting and helpful, especially for those of you guys who are having babies and you're wondering what you might like. Hopefully that helped you guys. And definitely let me know if you have any questions or if you wanna see anything else. I'll be happy to talk about more. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.